Time for some more Disney sizing. Now, as you guys know, me and Jessica are going to Disney World in a month. I got to prepare, get my legs in shape. Uh, I haven't gotten my new gym shoes yet. Uh, seemed like everybody was in agreement in the last video with Nikes. Uh, I'm just going to get another pair of the Nike Air Monitors. Uh, hopefully they got them at Dick's Sporting Goods. Uh, the last time I got them there, they were $60. If you go to any Nike shop, they're like 75. And yes, that's a tank behind me. Here at Veterans Park, they have an old World War II Sherman tank. I have done a video here before. I'll leave a link down below in the video description. This is a uh, pretty awesome old World War II, I believe, tank. Non-functional, I assume. Over the next few weeks, we're going to be going over a few tips and things that, you know, we recommend that if you're going to be planning a Disney trip. First thing I would recommend is getting a Disney travel agent. Disney travel agents know everything about Disney. They know all, well, a lot of the different ways that you can save money going down there. Now, one thing, Disney travel agents will always try to push Disney property. They'll try to find you the best deals on Disney property, uh, get you the most uh, incentives, which I'll tell you right now, there's not many incentives for staying on property right now. Pretty much the only incentive is transportation to and from the parks. So if you fly, yeah, that's, that's a big incentive that you can use their bus. The Disney Skyliner, which is a gondola system, which only takes you to a couple parks. Epcot and Disney uh, Hollywood Studios. But they do have multiple transportation, which is nice if you fly down there. I'm not gonna go over all the incentives to staying on property. When me and Jess go, we stay off property. We drive though. And when you drive down to Florida, uh, lots of ways you could save money staying off property. Uh, two major roads that intersect, that are kind of in the whole center of Disney World, is International Drive and State Route 192. Uh, International Drive has a whole huge series of hotels all up and down uh, International Drive. A lot of them are great. We've stayed at a couple of them. We've stayed at Rosen Inn. We've stayed at Quality Inn. Uh, and we'll go over the one we're staying at here later, which seems to be really nice, really close to the parks, probably uh, just a couple miles away from Disney. Uh, we'll go over prices and stuff like that in an upcoming video. One major thing, and I can't stress this enough, if you are planning a trip to Disney World, you want to get a little bit of exercise, preferably a month before you go. You want to work your legs out. If you haven't done much, uh, you know, if you have a desk job or something like that, or, or you're not very active, like me, uh, you, you might want to do a little bit of exercise. I call it Disney sizing, Disney exercising. Um, cause I want, you want to make sure that if you're going on a big two week trip, like we are, that you're going to be able to, uh, do all the walking. We have a seven day park ticket. So it's, it's going to be a mission. And when we go down there, we like to do as much as we can. And if you want to do as much as you can, it's going to involve a lot of walking in September at Disney World, it is very hot, very hot. We're expecting uh, high 80s, mid 90s, maybe even up to 100. And when you go down to Orlando, Florida, remember you are in the middle of the state, which means you're gonna have high humidity and you know, you wanna make sure you bring a lot of water. Disney, you can take uh, water bottles. We take uh, spring water in with us. We freeze it because we know it's gonna be hot. So we'll put it in a big plastic bag, carry it along with us so it kind of melts as, as we go along for the day. You definitely wanna have a lot, of, a, a lot of water. It is always humid at Disney World, uh, no matter where you are. I know people always say, oh, Animal Kingdom's the hottest park. Epcot's the hottest park. They're all hot. Don't, don't think you're gonna be able to go to Magic Kingdom and get out of the heat because yeah, there are air conditioning buildings, you know, all over the place. They, and, and they do have great air conditioning, but you wanna stay hydrated. That is the number one thing. You wanna make sure that you drink a lot of water uh, and waters are like four or $5 for a 20 ounce water bottle. So you wanna make sure that um, 
And if, if you're flying, you may want to think about doing like an Amazon pantry to bring stuff to your hotel, or if you're renting a car or something, or if you're driving, uh, go to Walmart. Walmart, you can get like 40 waters for five or six dollars and take a few with you. Do like we do, freeze them, put them in a, like a big Ziploc bag or something, wrap them up, put them in your backpack. Uh, that's the number one thing though. Uh, good, well, good pair of gym shoes. Don't wear flip-flops. Don't wear flip-flops. I've heard too many stories. I, I've known too many people that have had blisters on their feet and you know, it's like, don't wear flip-flops. You know, I, no matter how uh, big or skinny you are, flip-flops, not a good idea. Definitely wanna invest in a good pair of shoes and you wanna make sure you have a lot of water. Have I said that enough in this video? A lot of water. Everybody wants to have that Mickey pretzel or the famous churros that Disney make, which they are really good. And I do highly recommend getting one throughout your trip. However, Disney food is just like any other theme park food. It is very expensive. So another thing I do recommend is while you're at Walmart or uh, any other grocery store down there, plan on doing that kind of the first thing when you get down there. Like the day you go to your hotel, you're probably not gonna go to Disney World. You might go to Disney Springs, cause it's free and, you know, but you're still gonna pay the Disney prices at Disney Springs. You're still gonna pay four or five dollars for a water. So what I would do is the day you get down there, go to Walmart, go to whichever grocery store you can, buy up some water and buy up a bunch of snacks. You can bring snacks into Disney World. You can bring a lunch if you want, which is nice because a lot of theme parks don't allow that. You know, all those snacks and stuff, especially if you have kids, you know, can really add up in any of the parks down in Disney World. Any of the, uh, Universal too, Universal, SeaWorld, all those places are really expensive on food and drinks. So uh, like I said, when you get down there, save yourself some money, uh, get you some lunch meats. This is all the stuff that me and Jessica do because in the, in the next few weeks here, we're gonna be doing maybe one or two videos a week to where we go over uh, some of the things that we do to help us save a lot of money. This is how we're able to go to Disney World once or twice a year for a vacation because we save a lot of money by doing all this stuff. Now, mind you, I don't wanna take away from like the Disney dining experiences because they're top of the line. Uh, some of the restaurants down there are some of my favorite places to eat, like the Boathouse. I love Liberty Tree at Magic Kingdom. Uh, there's a couple places we love at Animal Kingdom. If you're planning a trip to Disney World too, let me know down in the comments what kind of food is your favorite kind of food. And I, I may be able to give you some idea of a uh, great dining experience that you can have at Disney World because, you know, we've done a lot of trial and error at restaurants at Disney. Some are good, some are okay, and some are terrible. So just like anywhere else you go, it would be good. I wish we would have had a heads up on a lot of these places, but you know, you live and learn. Maybe I can save you from making a couple of the mistakes we did. Getting a trip to Disney World, plan it with us. Let us know down in the comments. Uh, email me. Our email is at the end of every video in the video description below. Uh, check it out. Send me an email. If you guys are heading to Disney World, let us know. My wife is a Disney expert. Uh, any questions that you may have, you know, leave us down in the comments. That's probably the fastest way to get in touch with us is in the comments of our videos. Like if there's anything like private information or stuff like that, we'll, we'll email each other. But I just wanted to go ahead and start it off here. And uh, because I, a few of you have reached out to me and I, I was like, I told Jess, I was like, you know, I'm just, I'm gonna make a video or two a week on kind of how we prepare for Disney. I could talk all day on stuff we do, but I kind of want to break it up a little bit. It's a great place. It is our favorite vacation area. It is absolutely awesome. Um, you got to go to Disney World. I hope by giving you guys our story and how we do it, that you will feel like you can go too. Every one of the things everybody always says to me is that Disney World is too expensive. Yes, the parks are expensive, but there's ways around it. There's ways to, uh, like, if, if you watch what you eat, your hotels, your hotel prices, if you mind the little things, you can do the bigger things. We have been to Disney World so much as vacationers. Like, we don't live in Florida. We live in Cincinnati, Ohio. So when we go on vacation, I swear it's our home away from home, but 
when we go down there, we budget ourselves so much that we can enjoy our entire vacation, never feel like we're spending too much money and be able to do all the things that we wanna do. Cause honestly, we just love being there. You can always play in Disney Springs into your vacation because that is a very Disney place. Arguably one of my favorite places down there. Uh, it's free, there's a lot of stuff to do. Um, there's a lot of restaurants, restaurants everywhere. A lot of stuff for kids to do. Of course they have the big world of Disney where you can buy any Disney toy you can dream of. And nowadays you got all the Marvel stuff, all the Star Wars stuff, Mandalorian. I mean, all this stuff, it's an amazing place. Disney Springs is incredible. Um, you could definitely have to plan a day or two, maybe three. And those are days where you're not gonna spend a lot of money because you're not paying to go into a park and you still get that amazing Disney experience. Well, that's gonna do it for this Disney tutorial Disney tutorial I appreciate you guys watching the video stay tuned for more tips and tricks on ways to save at Disney World uh, I'll probably be coming out with these little tips and tricks for the next few weeks uh, we leave the second week of September to go down to Disney World and you better believe we're taking you with us and we're gonna show you all those little things all these little things that we do that you can catch an eye on and maybe you'll want to do too. So let us know down in the comments if you're going to Disney World and if we can help you at all, help budget your vacation a little bit, we would be more than happy to. So with all that being said, I am out and always remember the adventure is out there.